outside our seeing, beyond the beyond, at the edge of within. The Great Pyramid, erected by the ancient ones as a barricade at the portal between two dimensions, two separate realities. This is the story of one family drawn through a mysterious vortex into the other world and of their perilous trek homeward. on road. Must be right around the corner. Attention, man pickup in progress. Please have merchandise ready. Attention, man pickup in progress. Please have merchandise ready. Are you here for pickup? No. Then move on. Come on. traveled longer than ever before in this new world without coming upon a single province. How close were we to Imar? We didn't know. Finally, the trail of obelisks led us to an isolated city called Adore. Belisama blush? <laughs> it's like some kind of makeup. <laughs> I hope they have one that's first. My name is Hal Sterling. This is my family. What's he talking about? We're looking for an apartment. You mean a dwelling unit? Yes, yes. Then why did you say so? Why don't you come with me? We haven't had any new women on our block for a long time. Where are you from? Uh, we're just coming from... Is he always this rude? speaking to him. He is rude. I've tried to train him, but just nothing seems to work. Oh, I see. Well, I'll talk to you about that later. Come along. It's very nice. I think we'd like to take it. Would you like to see the servants' quarters? Servants? Or will these men be staying in your rooms? Well, they normally do. What did you say your name was? June. June Sterling. And yours? Uh, my name's Gina. I must tell you that our neighborhood club frowns on intergender involvements. They do. Well, uh, this is my husband. We are a family. I understand. You're progressives. I'm well aware that these things are not against the stratification laws. But keep in mind that this is a conservative part of town, and we resist compromise. Of course, you'll both be at the block meeting tomorrow night. I'll have the rental contract drawn up by then. Whoa! Charming lady. I hope everybody in this province isn't like her. Well, 
I think we ought to be able to find some kind of a job for a man like you. I have a degree in engineering. Can you read? What? If you can't read... Well, of course I can read. I'm going to show these to you one at a time. And you tell me what they say. You're kidding, right? Excuse me. Uh, how do you get in this place? You can't. It's against the stratification laws. You'll have to send your midget servant. I'm not a midget. Mom, am I a midget? No, of course you're not. You're going to grow up big and strong, just like your father. Unless we can't get any food. I can shop for us, Mom. Oh, great. Okay. You listen. I want you to follow this list exactly, okay? Why do I have the feeling I'm going to regret this? There's some cute guys at this school. Just show me where the chicks are. I guess you got your wish, huh? Hey, I wonder where the guys are. Probably in shop class or something. Hi. Hi, Chief. Hi. <laughs> some guys got all the luck. Snug as a bug in a rug. Very good. Smith! What is all this junk? It was all they had. You can go check. I'll bet you didn't even get Gina's beef jerky. Yes, I did. I got some steaks, too. What happened to my list? I couldn't read your writing. Kind of like Karate Rock. Who told you you could come in here? Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Gina, help! What's going on here? Does they belong to you? I... Uh, yeah, I guess so. You better stick with him or he's going to be in trouble. Got it? We got it. He flounders like a huge conjure eel in an ocean of dingy invectives and dismal vituperations. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're smart and good-looking, too. There are excellent opportunities for a man with your qualifications. He offered me a job as a vegetable waxer in a supermarket. Did you take it? Oh, Trace had fun today, too. Shut up. He got beat up at school by a girl. I was not. Look, first of all, there were two of them, and they were both bigger than Dad. I had to save him. You know, I think I like this province. It's all run by women. You can say that again. Men are definitely second-class citizens. Mm -hmm. Much lower than that. It's like they're a separate race or something. You know, they were surprised that I could even read. Well, no wonder. Guys aren't even allowed to go to school here. Hi. I'm Gretchen Askew. This is Sam. Hi, I'm... I know. You're June Sterling, the new lady on the block. I came to take you and Gina to our neighborhood club meeting. It's going to start in just a few minutes. Oh, listen, I really appreciate your coming by, but we just got settled in, so I, I think I'll skip it tonight. But you have to come. It's part of the stratification code. Aha! Well, uh, we'll just have dinner later. 
We'll see you later. Be careful. Mm -hmm. I love you. Bye. I'm Hal. Nice to meet you. This is Trace. Smith. Hey. Hi. Don't feel too left out about the women. Uh, us men on this block have our own club, too. Really? Uh, just a little get-together. We play some games, win some prizes. Well, I, I have a lot to do. Uh, we have to have supper, and then we have to clean up. And well, I'll help you. Besides, you have to come. The man parties are the law. The subject that we will discuss this evening is Stratification Law 121C, which states, Vow coupling has been rendered obsolete and is an unnecessary structure within civilized society. Any woman who engages in the practice of vow coupling must realize that her actions are destructive to collective sisterhood. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now I would like to introduce you to someone who has had first-hand experience at what I've been talking about. Raquel? I was about coupled for two years. I know it was wrong, but I'm very young, and it's very easy for men to take advantage of me. <laughs> With their smooth words and their shiny skin. <laughs> My husband was lazy, and then he got fat, and he was sick all the time. I finally had to auction him off, and I got a really low price for him. Mine and now I have no money. Well, now, RJ, you've watched a lot of video beam. You should get this one. Who was the only peacetime praetor to ever accidentally shoot himself while in office? Oh, uh, uh, come on, Art. Uh, oh, come on, come on. Baxter Popsity. Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and look what you win. Oh, wow. yeah. Oh, Holy great. Oh, Please. Come on, let me go, Nick. Well, did you enjoy your first block meeting? It was interesting. Did you agree with what I had to say? Not completely. Uh-huh. And what about you? Well, I didn't exactly agree with everything. I see. Well, this is very disturbing, but it's hardly a surprise. Do you see what you're doing to your daughter? Your attitude towards men is a grave disservice to everyone. You're not like the women of a door. There, something, something strange about you. Uh, do you have a copy of the rental agreement I was supposed to sign? If it were up to me, I wouldn't rent to you at all. But we have a fair housing statute in the province. We cannot discriminate on the basis of vow coupling. Just make sure that you don't break any of the laws. Does anyone have a copy of these stratification laws? Help yourself. All the laws are here. We get a new volume every month. Why don't you stay for a while and read? No, thank you. Perhaps some other time. I don't think I'm cut out to run parties. Well, what kind of work do you do now? He's a vegetable waxer. Is that right? That's just what I used to do. I'll tell you how. You can make a lot more money taking Vorpalware door to door. Well, maybe so, but still I... Oh, I understand about job security, but just think about it. Here, you take one of these permission slips home. 
Now, all you have to do is have a responsible female over the age of 13 sign for you, and you're in business. I mean, you can wear the blue. We didn't buy this stuff. Trace wanted. it. Well, I'm glad he did. You see, you guys are going to need it. Our mom and I found out tonight that it's illegal for women to do housework of any kind. I have to get a job tomorrow anyway. Someone has to support us. Wait a minute now. I've got a job too, you know. I'm going to be selling Volpo. What's the name? Vorpalware. Vorpalware. The word of the war. As a matter of fact. Oh, this is nice. One of you two is going to have to sign my permission slip. Yeah, what do you mean? That's going to leave me here alone to take care of Smith and do all the housework. I guess that's right. Oh, you're going to have to cook and clean and do the laundry. Now you know what it feels like to be a housewife. Thanks so much for showing me the way to the employment office. Bella Sama isn't exactly helpful. You've got to watch out for her. She doesn't like you. The feeling's mutual. June, I wanted to ask you about something. You and Hal seem so happy together. And you don't try to hide it or control him at all. Why should I? He doesn't try to control me. I think that's one of the reasons we're so happy together. But I've always been taught that men are lower than women. That to be happy with them, you have to control them. If you love someone, you want them to be free. Thanks so much for walking with me. I'll see you tonight. Oh, I don't know. This one's gorgeous. And this price is really low. We would have said. Hi, my name is Rod. And I like to sing and eat. <laughs> I wonder why his price is so low. Hey, if we all go in together, we can buy them. Yeah. You want to go in with us, Gina? We can all share them. <laughs> Wait, go wait, go in on what? What is this? It's the bi-weekly auction guy. The man exchange. Trade-ins, new and used. Just look at the pictures in the front. The ones in the back are all the boys and old men. Not sexy at all. You mean, all these people are for sale? You can buy them? <laughs> of course. All you need is money. <laughs> Attention, girls. Class is beginning. Today we will discuss the male problem. <sighs> Sam, how did everything get this way? What do you mean? I mean, why are the men treated like slaves here? Your wife doesn't tell you anything, does she? <laughs> well, I guess I just never asked. Gretchen tells me everything. After the fourth unification war, uh, the province was put under the control of Commander Livia. She'd been a great hero in the Black Mirror campaign. She's the one that wrote the stratification laws and set the province up this way. But why? What for? Well, she was angry. While the male commanders were being promoted and given the best assignments, she was pushed aside and wound up as military governor here. She deserved a lot more. But that was hundreds of years ago. How can we be blamed for something that a small group of men did before we were even born? <laughs> I don't like it. A lot of women don't either. At least that's what Gretchen says. But what can we do? I'll tell you a secret. I know you're a vow coupled with June. So are Gretchen and I. We really love each other, no matter what the stratification laws say. I never told that to anyone before. This province isn't so bad. We get to do what women usually do. Shop, have fun, whatever. Oh, yeah? 
Well, you didn't have to clean the bathroom this morning. Level one, Kids. powdered concrete, grease guns, and male disciplinary supplies. Level five, gender disinfectants, taxidermy services, and law Arresting iron us rolling. what for? Illegal use of female elevators. Unescorted men use the stairs. I'm really sorry if we did anything wrong. We didn't mean to. Who's your block leader? You know, I was thinking today, if you're tired selling door to door, I could probably get you a job in the pet store. I am the manager. Wait a minute, I'm gonna stick to this borpo where I sold the whole cat today. The men love it. <laughs> What's the matter? Um. I got, I got a phone call when I got home from school today. Trace and Smith have been arrested. The block leader has them. The gender patrol brought them to me. Invading a female elevator is a serious offense. Several of the women feared they might be attacked. That's ridiculous. It's worse than that. You're just lucky they haven't been caught before. First offenders are only turned over to their block leaders. A second offense will not be dealt with so lightly. You know, I am really tired of you vow couplers. I knew you'd be trouble the very first time I saw you. Now, I am not going to put up with your strange intergender relationships much longer. Every time you go out of the house, you get into some kind of trouble. Look, all I did was get on an elevator, and before I knew it, I was in a headlock by a woman. Nobody's blaming you. This province is ridiculous. We'll stay here tonight, but we're leaving tomorrow. I'm hungry. She didn't give us anything to eat while we were chained up. Listen, let's all go out and have a nice meal. I saw a little restaurant over by the pet store. If Gina and I go along, they'll probably let you guys in. that I have called you. Now, why do I have to answer these questions again? <sighs> no, I don't know what it is. It's, it's some sort of a glass appliance with electronics inside. Does it glow? No, it doesn't glow. But it has the mark of Emar engraved on the bottom. And it has a number. Now, I've given all this to you before. <sighs> it's foreign. from the gender patrol. All right, Sister Blush, your report has been filed and will be forwarded to EMAR through the proper channels, but uh, we're extremely busy, so uh, it might take a while. Why are you people so inefficient? Please hold. Don't put me on hold again. The gender patrol is anxious to protect your female rights. Please hold. We'll pick up the obelisk trail west of the city. It took us a long time to get here. I wonder how far we'll have to walk before we get to the next province. Do you have the access crystal? Oh, it's in your knapsack, isn't it? It was. It's not here now. Did anybody move that for any reason?
to be here someplace. I didn't lose it. I didn't even touch it. It's just like the time you lost the car keys back home. Now, Gina, think. Are you sure you didn't take that knapsack yes, out of the I'm house? Yes, I'm sure. I told you. What about your friend? Was anybody here? Did you show it to anyone? Dad, do you think I would do something like that? Don't look at me. There is another alternative. Someone could have come in here and stolen it. But everything's been locked up. Or it could be someone we let in. Like the Askews. Or someone who has a key, like Belisana. What should we do now? I think we should take a chance and try to find it. I think Gina's right. Here's what we're going to do. You go back to work, you go back to school. I'll keep selling and keep my eyes open for the zone troopers. In the meantime, we got to keep looking. It's not there. Trace. Trace. What? I'm getting sick of looking. And I'm hungry. Can you barbecue a steak for me? No, I'm not going to cook for you. How can you be hungry at a time like this? Come on, Trace, please. I'm starving. Yeah. All right, hand me the sauce. Us out. It's your fault you wanted to eat. gender patrol. I saw him naked from the waist up in public. It's against the stratification laws and it was horribly offensive. I don't care about your laws. I just want my son back. Now wait a minute. All the girls at school read available hunk and that's full of guys without any shirts. But they are for sale. Look, we don't want any trouble. We just want... Would you keep him quiet? People. You people haven't learned anything about male-female relationships. I don't even think you're from this province. I know some things about you. Where is he? Where are you keeping him? Oh, he wasn't turned over to me. It's his second offense. The gender patrol has. Tomorrow night, he'll go on the auction block. What? It's the law. Second offenders are sold to the highest bidder. Now you, you can go and watch if you're interested, but you can't buy him yourself. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. Now we know for sure that she took the crystal. Oh, Hal, what are we going to do? How are we going to get our son back? Mom, I know a lot of girls at school will go to that auction. Maybe I can get one of them to bid on Trace for us. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, but some of the girls here are pretty weird. They might want to keep him. We've got to find someone we can trust. I didn't want to ask you to do this, but we don't have any choice. We don't know how else to save him. Will you help us? But if we bid on your son for you, we know that Belisama can make things difficult for you in the neighborhood. Maybe we shouldn't worry about that. We've been watching your family. 
Yeah, you aren't afraid the way people usually are here. That's the way we want to be. Well, we wanted to move to a new neighborhood anyway. Gretchen, I think we should do it. Where's she gonna leave? Are you sure there's a block meeting tonight? I'm positive. Here she comes. a higher price is shining. Okay, cutie. Flex. crystal has been found. Where? In the province of Ador. Let's go. We can be there by morning. Uh, may I suggest we wait, Commander? I've sent for our units, but it'll take at least 24 hours for them to arrive. Why? Well, we're closer to Ador than they are, and I don't think it's a good idea for us to go to that province alone. They have some very rigid laws there. What's the matter with you, Lieutenant? Don't you know how to handle women? We're not waiting for anything. Mom, Dad, look at this. I just got this from a girl down the street. Look who's an available hunk. Hi, I'm Trace. I like chicks and manual labor. Oh, hell, what have they done to him? He's all shiny. It's probably just vegetable wax. Oh, well, at least he's cheap. Why did it take you two days to notify Imar? You're a bunch of incompetent women. Watch your mouth, Commander. You watch my mouth! What do you think I am, one of your provincial eunuchs? I want my access crystal! We're looking for it now. Sit down and be quiet! I think we'd better do what she says, Commander. <laughs> oh, you want to get tough? Uh, all right. Well, uh, I can get tough. I'm giving you ten minutes to put that crystal in my hand. It was here last night. It must have been stolen. And I think I know who did it. This 
is not good, Sister Blush. Not good at all. Believe me, they were here. They'll be at the auction tonight. And was there anyone else who saw this crystal? No. Filing a false report with the Gender Patrol is a very serious offense, Sister Blush. I'm going to have to place you under arrest. Ridiculous, I'm stopping right now. You can rest after the auction tonight. The way you can forget it. What do you mean you can't find it, Captain? It was left with one of our bluff leaders. We were unaware of its importance. This place is full of nothing but female fools. But what could you expect from a province that was created by Commander Livia? Everyone knows she was a lush. I want my uniform! We burned it. My men will be arriving soon, and all of you, all of you will pay for this humiliation. You had no right to come here, Commander. Only female zone troopers are allowed in this province, and our agreements with him are, are very clear. What are you going to do with us? <laughs> I'm going to sell you at an auction. I was a little short on low-valued merchandise this week, and you never know, some woman may need help on her farm. This is where we first met. I'm so glad I bought you. We should come here more often. Security. 
suspicion. My units will be arriving soon, and I promise you, you will pay for this. Put man down. I did bring this up, Connor, but I did warn you, you shouldn't come here alone. Shut up! Nothing! Lieutenant. Going what? Going twice? You're not going to believe this. Hi, I'm Naveen. I like to yell and shoot. Can't be him. Here's a new one. His name is Trace. He made a nice graduation gift for some lucky young woman. What you got to say to yourself, sweet cheeks? Nothing. Ooh, this is strong. We'll start the bidding up at 50! 50. 55! 55. 55. 55! 60! 65! 65! 65! 65! 65! 65! 65! 65! 65! 65! 65! 65! 65! 65! 65! 65! 100's all we have. Don't worry. Sam and I have a little nest egg. Do I hear 120? 200! Going once, going twice, go to the lady in the lavender dress. Let's get out of here. Wait, I think we're going to want to see this. We're going to interrupt the normal order of this evening's sale to offer you a very unusual piece of merchandise. Only why we have a lively one here. Woo! His name is Naveen, and he's so shiny. What do you got to say for yourself? I am a commander in the Dome Troopers. My unit will be arriving shortly. Anyone. Anyone bidding on me will suffer the most dire consequences. This entire operation will be shut down forever if you don't release me immediately. Well, start the bidding at ten. Ten. Sit down. Commander Kroll is in good hands. I think it's time for us to leave. <laughs> Thank you. Helping you is the least we could do. You've done so much for us. Until we met you, we, we never understood how a man and woman should treat each other. Things are going to be different from now on. We want to thank you again, Sam. Now we have to leave. We have a long way to go. Where are you going? We're going to Emar. And then we're going home. Bye-bye. Take care. Our experience in a door was one of the strangest we had ever encountered. We were sure Commander Kroll would remember it as well. As we continued to follow the trail of obelisks toward Ema, we took some consolation in the fact that we may have brought a new understanding of freedom and dignity into at least a few people's lives. And that was enough on our journey home. Next on Sci-Fi, crossing over with John Edward. I go out and kick the crap out of bad guys, killers, freaks, and Canadian nationals. And they never see it coming. Our racket is handling cases other agencies can't. Or won't. Or don't. But you cut the three days of the Condor crap. The government's ultimate concealed weapon. The Invisible Man, a sci-fi original series. Disappearing Fridays at 8 on Sci-Fi.